and the beat goes on in Texas high school football. And right now, we want to get you to a vintage, I mean old school rivalry. Mike Leslie on the call for Friday Night Football. It's Ennis against Waxahachie. Mike. Hey, Joe, thanks. Yeah, this this really is. Th this night was about this game, but as much as anything else, it was about the history of this rivalry. It's it's really cool to be down here and experience this in person for me just the second time. I saw the 2018 game, and now this one. This is one of the oldest, most historic rivalries in all of Texas high school football, the 103rd meeting of these two teams, and it's on the table as a possibility. We certainly hope it's not, but it might have been Sam Harrell's last one. He said that if he continues to feel the way he feels right now, it might be, but he's trying to show his kids how to fight. His kids had to fight tonight against a very good Waxahachie team that led 15-0 at halftime of this game behind two touchdown runs from Wade Lemons, and this was his third as the Indians took a 22-0 lead five minutes into this third quarter. But Ennis would find an answer. Xander Hinton looking for Lemarian McGowan, who makes a great adjustment to haul in the touchdown pass and it was 22-8, and Ennis's offense had sprung to life. They looked much better in the second half, but Waxahachie looked really sharp. The sophomore transfer quarterback, remember the name Jerry Meyer, and remember the name Cohen Brown, too, showing off that 10, 800-meter speed on a 63-yard touchdown catch and run. Waxahachie with a 42-14 win in the 103rd meeting of the Battle of 287.